All right, we've all seen people with long fingernails, like these, for instance, or maybe these even longer ones. Oh, or holy moly, what about these? But you may have never seen world record holder Lee Redmond's nails. Ms. Lee Redmond from Salt Lake City hadn't cut her nails in over 40 years, which means they added up to 340 total inches. Redmond said, I was known as the fingernail lady, but to me, I would have to explain to them, there really is more to me. You know, Gov, true story. I I used to chew my fingernails constantly. Hmm. And, uh, you know, one day my mom came in and put hot sauce all over my hands and my nails and like really put it in deep. And still to this day, it's the only way I can chew on them now. I oh. have hot sauce. It's totally a different thing. Disgusting. But, yeah. Uh. Well, Governor, you know, when my Aunt Tilly's son, John, was just five years old, he always chewed his nails. Hmm. Aunt Tilly became so upset that she told John chewing his nails would make his tummy grow so big it would pop like a balloon. Boom! Well, my frightened cousin never chewed his nails again, but he did upset Aunt Tilly in another way. A few days after she scared him off chewing his nails, they were sitting in a park on a bench when a very pregnant lady sat down next to him. Well, Johnny thought about what he had learned from his aunt, and he got up and walked over to the lady, smiled slyly and said, well, I know what you've been doing. (laughs) I bet he did. Uh, Hey, Keith, I think we ought to be glad your cousin didn't go bad and grow up to be some hardened cuticle from chewing those nails, right? Yeah. Mm. All right, back to our story. (laughs) Poor Ms. Redmond actually had her nails snap off in a car accident. A kind woman at the scene actually collected all the pieces of her nails. Redmond now keeps them to remind her of when she was the reigning nail lady. While she looks back on her record-holding days with pride, she did say there were a lot of things that the 340 inches of total nails made very difficult. For instance, she had to use two long pencils in order to type in a keyboard. And she couldn't fit into the restroom cabin on an airplane, so she wouldn't eat or drink 24 hours prior to a flight. What? Hmm. Yeah. And when people did inquire as to how she used the restroom, Redmond always had the same answer, Carefully. Very carefully. <laughs> oh, I don't, e- I don't want to no, think about don't it. Don't go there. Mm-hmm. Don't, think don't go there. <laughs> All right. With the coronavirus scare, theme parks are desperate to get people to come back for some fun. So the Dutch park, Wallaby Holland, made an irresistible promotional video for their roller coaster called Untamed. They strapped 22 large teddy bears in, and they filmed them riding the coaster. <laughs> now, they didn't use real untamed bears because that would get, well, too grisly. Uh, But with the wind and the G-forces whipping their arms and heads around, the teddy bears looked as if they were really getting into the ride. That's cute. I mean, it was a real Kodiak moment. Uh, Mm. Then they started screaming, and they really... They did, yeah. Yeah. Well, luckily, it didn't scare the stuffing out of them, (laughs) although personally, it would scare the poo out of me. You get that? Uh, See where I went there? The Winnie, the poo? I don't think about that either. Uh, Okay but I guess I'll just have to grin and bear it. Yes. Oh. Well, like many cities reopening after the coronavirus lockdown, Thailand's capital, Bangkok, is cautiously watching their restaurants open all of their doors to customers. Of course, with safety restrictions clearly in place. So how do those rules affect the Catterday Cafe? That really is the name of the place. It's a place where countless cats run around the dining area, rubbing up or rejecting humans as they see fit. Really? Uh, Ah. I'm not a cat person. I don't get this story. And I don't know about you, but this kind of restaurant theme really freaks me out. (laughs) Uh. Well, the cats have dry baths. They have their fur brushed and their eyes cleaned every day just to play it safe. But you got to wonder if the owner didn't take these extra safety measures if the customers would call out claw enforcement. Did you see that one, yeah. claw enforcement? Yeah. Well, hey, since they've got nine lives, the whole idea of cat safety has made me a little perplexed. And after all the stressful COVID isolation, Catterty 
cafe patrons were excited to get back to some fine dining and feline attention. One regular said, since we can come to meet the cats, we feel more at ease and relaxed. You go right ahead. Mm. Cafe owner, Arissa Limpana Wong Sanan said her business is still down more than 50%. Arissa has around 35 cats that she rotates between her home and the cafe. Hopefully she does not rotate them on the menu. I wanna make sure we know that. <laughs> But we wish that Arissa and all her feline employees will have great success, and we hope they all have a very mice day. Oh, very mice. Nice. Mice. Yeah. I like it. I wonder if they try to eat your food. I don't know. Yeah. I guarantee you if they had 35 dogs in oh, that place. Yeah. You wouldn't get a bite. Yeah. All right. Well, here is a new twist on fake news. Rodney and Julie Wheeler of Grandview, West Virginia, got arrested for allegedly faking Julie's death so she could avoid going to prison for health care fraud. She didn't want to take the fall, so she pretended to take a fall right over the main overlook at the New River Gorge. She was also rather terse. I guess you could say she was a condescending, condescending. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is, if it weren't all fake. You know, when you think about it, the actual difference between standing at an overlook and falling from an overlook is staggering. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Huh. Authorities say that her husband and son helped stage the scene so it would look as if she gave the law the slip by slipping over the tip of the gorge. Honestly, after they hatched the plan, it was all downhill. But it really hit rock bottom when after days of searching, authorities found Mrs. Wheeler alive and well hiding in a closet at her house. It's always the last place you look. Oh, well, at least now she won't be the only one in her family who's going down for the crime. How about that one? That's a good one, yeah. Finally tonight, Father's Day is just a week away, and we know that dads really don't want another tie or pair of socks. Nope. Hey, we got our Huckabee research team to dig deep to help you find those gifts that'll make you unforgettable to dear old dad. First up, how about a chest hair toupee? Yes. Yes, it's available for the body hair challenge and you can even get it in back hair. Oh, I like it. Mm, really? Nice. Yeah. Hey, how about this? A bottle of Q cologne. Because ladies, Nothing says how much you love your husband or father than the intoxicating smell of spices, grill smoke, meat, and good old sweat. Oh, yeah. Or why not give your dad a new grilling apron that'll have him saying, I am Spartacus, without any of the messy dieting or workouts required. Hey, Keith, I gotta find out what you've got on the recommendation list for our Father's Day gift. Well, Governor, I'm hoping for one, uh, get this great new vision, the pet Butler. Pet Butler. Yes. That's it's nice. about time our pets pull their weight and mingle with our guests while serving delicious treats. I want to show you this. You're, huh. you're, you're a dog lover. You'll love this. Yeah. I, I wonder if they could use that in the cat cafe, maybe. That would I be perfect. I don't know. And, well, actually, uh, on, the, on the other side, that they do show a cat. Nice. Can you imagine uh, its part. a cat yeah. wearing anything like that? I mean, no. cats are finicking enough without no. something like that. Won't happen. All yeah, right. Hey, Trey, what about you? Have you found anything uh, yeah. maybe that you're hoping for I'm for Father's really Day? I'm really hoping for this, Gov. This is a good one. It is an earwax candle kit. Ugh. I get my very own. It even comes with a wax extraction cap. Oh, no. Yeah. It's really good. I will tell you, your ear is a treasure trove free usable earwax right here. It's just uh. there. That's disgusting. It is very it's disgusting. disgusting. It's very usable. I, uh. Let me tell you something. If you, if you get that and make those candles, uh. your wife is not going to light the candle on fire. <laughs> something else in your house will be burning. <laughs> it's you. Well, hey, I've got a couple of suggestions uh. for Father's Day gifts that are near and dear to my heart. These are both designed by Teresa Freeman with her husband in mind. The first one is a wonderful, look at this. Pepperoni bouquet. Ooh. Ah, I love this. Now it won't done. last long in a vase, but its beauty will be savored for a long time. Oh, and if man. you guys are nice to me, I might even share it with you. The second one is just so darn practical. I mean, we have to wear a mask, True. like to fly, go to grocery stores in certain places. But here's one. It's made out of bacon. Like this one. <laughs> That's really bacon. That is bacon. 
Look, it's got wow. it's got the little things for your ears like and everything. It. And here's the deal: that if you need some nourishment along the way, then you can also just hold up this bacon face mask, put it on, and gnaw your way through to freedom whenever you need to. I'd like I, to see you demonstrate that. Why don't you? Yeah, you take know, a jump um, there. something like this. <laughs> The bacon mask. Yep. But can you imagine how popular it would be on the, uh, on the phones? By the way, I've got another. You've got one week. Oh, this is one. If, if as you don't like bacon, here is one made out of Swiss cheese. Hey. You can breathe easier out of it. So I like you just together. put this over here on your ear. And mm -hmm. that's great, isn't it? What do you put think? Put the bacon over it. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, after the show... Uh, Keith and Trey are going to join me for some bacon mask, and we will be getting into the pepperoni as well. Mm -hmm. Hey, you've only got a week to get that Father's Day gift that will never be forgotten, as these certainly won't. We hope we have inspired you to new heights. Now, until next time, always remember... We read the news. Now, if you want more videos like that one, hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell right next to it. And if you leave a comment, positive or negative, I'll be sure that my dog Toby sees it and responds to you in kind. <laughs>